So now we're going to practice actually coming up with these Taylor polynomials for various functions. Um, the formal definition for a Taylor polynomial is this. Let's see, we got the last video, we showed that. Um, the first two terms are just the equation of the tangent line. And then we start upping the degree. Second derivative, two factorial squared. The, ne the next term after this would be the third derivative at c over three factorial times x minus c to the third, and so on and so on and so on. You can do this however many times you want, up to n. Um, that's it's called it's centered at C. That's like where you would draw the tangent line. Now, if it's centered at zero, there's a special name for it. It's called Maclaurin. That doesn't really matter because Taylor is for any value of C, including C equals zero. So you really don't have to worry about the Maclaurin right now. So I'm going to clear this. Um, if you want to take a fresh look at this, that's the Taylor polynomial. So you can make it as many terms as you want or as many terms as you're told to make it. So here's an example. We're going to find the Taylor, actually one, two, three, four, five different Taylor polynomials for L and of X. Each one of them is going to get better and better and better as far as approximating the value of natural log of X at X equals one. So the first Sometimes these are T sub zero for Taylor polynomial. They call them P here for uh, polynomials. First would just be F of zero. I'm sorry, F of C, which is F of one. But if you go back, that's all that's just first. That's not usually too helpful, but we're gonna do it anyhow. F of one is zero. So this is a polynomial function, it's Y, equals zero. It's, that's the x-axis, basically. So, second one is whatever was before it. Remember, it's f of one plus, now it's f of c, sorry, f prime of c, because this is the first degree times x minus c. f prime of 1, f prime of x is 1 over x. So f prime of 1 is 1. So this would just be 1 times x minus 1. It's just the line x minus 1. Our second degree of polynomial is going to be everything before it. Plus, now we're going to take the second derivative at 1 over 2 factorial times x minus 1 squared. Second derivative is, that's x to the negative 1, so negative x to the negative 2, negative 1 over x squared. So at 1, that would be negative 1. So this would be x minus 1 minus 1 over 2 factorials, 2. So the third, I'm not going to do all of these. Just do one more. The third will have every single term that the first two had, but now you add the f triple prime of x, which is, that's x to the negative 2, so positive 2 x to the negative 3. I hope I'm doing all this right. So f triple prime of 1 is going to be 2. 
f triple prime of one, oops, f triple prime of one is two over three factorial, which is going to be six times x minus one to the third. The fourth you can do on your own, you're just going to, well, let's do it quickly. F. Oh. Oh. The fourth derivative of x would be that's negative three, so negative six. Uh, so it would be, if you plug in one, it's negative six. So we have the fourth derivative of one is negative six over four factorial, which is one times two times three times four, which is six times four, which is 24, and then times great planning as usual. Then times x minus 1 to the 4. So it's all of this plus that. Now, the last thing I want to show you is this. Um, so what does it mean? What does it all mean? What do we do? Um, if we wanted to approximate, say, the natural log of 1.111, um if you look at all the graphs our p1 was this line so it approximates it pretty good around one but not as you get further than one and by the way p sub zero isn't here was x equals zero that would be this line that's a horrible approximation it's not even close to the graph except that x equals one the second one is a parabola, and you can see how it hugs this graph a little bit longer. So 1.1 would be a much better, using the parabola to figure out what the natural log of 1.1 would be much better than the one before it. Uh, the third one is a cubic, so it's going to hug it even longer and longer and longer. So it's going to be even closer. And then the last one is another, is a fourth degree, and it hugs this graph for longer. So sometimes you'll be asked, all right, Approximate the natural log of 1.1 by using the, the fourth degree Taylor polynomial. Well, you go down to your, your P4 and you just plug in 1.1 for all these X's and it will give you a very good approximation. Look at that in the videos coming up.